What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl MJ. Today I'm going to be making you the turkey meatloaf. It's another one of my mother's recipes, so it's bomb -ass. We had a little celebration last night. We drank some wine. My sister got a promotion and I'm so proud of her. And that just shows that good things come to those who take risks and get out of their comfort zone. We moved across the country uh, to Utah from Michigan. And yeah, when you put yourself into an uncomfortable situation or a learning experience, you learn and you grow and just so many possibilities happen when you get out of your comfort zone. So I challenge you today, this week, this year, to do something that is super scary, whether that be making a YouTube channel, going to the gym because it's super intimidating in there sometimes. I don't know, asking that person that you've always had a crush on out. I just believe that, you know, everything happens for a reason. What's meant for you is already written in the stone, written in whatever. And as long as you go for what you think you want and challenge yourself, that good things are gonna happen to you. So I challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and do something that might be scary. So back to what the purpose of this video is, is we are gonna be making turkey meatloaf. Stay hydrated too. So what you will need for our turkey meatloaf is ground turkey. I just picked up this organic ground turkey, 93% lean, 7% fat, breadcrumbs. I got the Italian style, just cause it's gonna be, you know, a little bit more Italian flavor. You'll need wheat germ, ketchup. Make sure you shake it because it gets all watery and gross. You will need salt and pepper, two eggs, Italian seasoning, honey for our like glaze, garlic, so you can either get like the little jar of minced garlic or I like to do the real garlic and chop it up myself because just chopping up shit just is so therapeutic to me, I don't know. You will need bell peppers, I got the sweeter ones, the orange and the yellow, and you'll need onion, I think that's it. Turkey, breadcrumbs, wheat germ, ketchup, eggs, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, carrots. Oh, you need carrots. You can either get the big carrots and chop them up, or since these are already pre-washed, I'm gonna rinse them just a little bit and chop those up. And meatloaf pans, I have two just in case we make extra. And then our side dish is gonna be mashed potatoes. I really wanted the already pre-made mashed potatoes. Bob Evans is so good, but they didn't have it. I don't know why this store is limited on groceries, but we are going to make our own mashed potatoes. So I got these little guys, they're like purple and yummy. And we're gonna wing it. So I have milk, sour cream, butter, salt and pepper, and also corn. So those are the ingredients you'll need. And let's get to it. We love food. Okay, oh, let's say hi to the puppy. Hi, boo -boos. Hi, boo -boos. Hi. How are you? You're such a good boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna go for a walk. Okay, so let's get started. Wash our hands, because we just touched the dog. Dry with our let us remain calm towel. Let us remain calm. All right, so we are going to first preheat our oven to 375. Bake, 375, start. Make sure there's nothing inside because, um, you know, people like to wash their dishes and put their shit in there. I don't understand that, but <laughs> um, make sure there's nothing in there. There's no like pizza crust, whatever. You will now need your ground turkey. I'm gonna use both of these. Hi, Boo Bear. Do you see him? Hi, Boo Bear. You stay, stay. Oh. Hi, Boo Boss. Hi, Boo Boss. Yes, okay. Oh, he loves carrots, so we're we're going to um, give him carrots. So, one and a half of these. No, nope, both of them, my bad. So you're gonna pour both of them in your bowl, your big bowl. One and a half cups of breadcrumbs and wheat germ. Hi, boo -boos. You're gonna help me cook? Huh, you gonna help me cook? One and a half cups of breadcrumbs. Boom. Good boy. Dough it up. One and a half cups of 
wheat germ. <gasps> Ooh, that's a lot. Two tablespoons of ketchup. Make sure you shake it because we don't want that watery nasty stuff. I don't have um, the measuring thingamabobbers. We're gonna eyeball. We'll say that's one, two. Two eggs. Ooh. Oh wow, that was a little aggressive and there's eggshells. Wow. Oh, it's a little crunchy. A little crunchy. I just need something harder. Two eggs. Salt and pepper. Hold. I'm gonna let him outside. Here goes I. Go potty. Yo, it's the cutest thing. When he's done peeing, he'll jump up on the sledge. Yeah? Are you finished? Give him some time to play. <laughs> Salt and pepper. The recipe doesn't say how much, so I'm gonna say um, half a teaspoon of salt, Italian seasoning. We will do like a teaspoon. I need to dump the loose. Okay, let me go get the puppy. Now we are going to let that be right there for a minute. And we are going to saute our carrot. Saute our carrots, which Banks loves carrots. So I'm gonna give him one. Come here. Sit. Shake. Oh, turn around. Damn, you good boy. You're such a good boy. You love carrots. Okay. So we're gonna rinse these, saute the carrots, the peppers, the onion, and the garlic. And I want my big knife. Get the skin off. Olive oil, heat that up. Let's get through this, get through the onions. Holy moly, I can't see. I'm back. Okay, almost there. My nose burning, my eyes are walking, struggling. YouTube and do like a lot of fitness um, videos for you guys, a ton of workouts. I love to work out, if you didn't know that about me. I love to eat food. But I also like to just be balanced with it. I have a huge sweet tooth. I love to drink, love to party. But I think with life, it's all in balance and moderation. If you're gonna eat peanut M&Ms and Oreos every day, which I either eat one or the other, or ice cream, it's gotta be in moderation. So I have like maybe three or four or five, six would be like the max Oreos. And yeah, you know, life is about balance. These fad diets that people go on, I understand that there's restrictions that people have and it's all about balance. I think I want these to be done before I add the rest in. So I'm gonna finish these guys. Okay, these are looking done. So we're gonna add these into our mix. Put a little bit more oil on. 
Put our garlic in. No, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm not a dietitian, so I can't recommend anything to anyone about what they should eat, but I've you know, been around a very healthy lifestyle for a very long time. I am certified to personal train, so I can definitely recommend workouts and do a lot of workouts for you guys and create some stuff. So if there's anything you want specific, let me know in the comments, on my Instagram, I have Facebook, so just hit me up and let me know what you want to see more of that will help you guys out this year. I want this to be a good year for everybody because you know we had a we had a rough 2020 and it was just hard doing you know the minimum. But yeah, so anything I can do to help, I can make you know personal plans, fitness plans for you guys if you want. I would love to share with you what I eat on the reg to stay pretty healthy. And that's why I'm kind of you know making these meals because I love food, I love to eat. Garlic's in. I also have a huge sweet tooth, but I am a huge advocate of health as well. And if you take care of your body, you will be successful. I just would, yeah, I'd love to share some of the stuff that I eat, my workouts, what I do to stay pretty healthy. I like to think I'm fairly healthy, but like in a balanced way. I eat sweets every day, I eat chocolate every day. I drink probably every weekend. So maybe I'll do like once, one night a weekend, like either Friday or Saturday night. Yeah, I just believe in a balanced lifestyle um, will get you super far. Look good, feel good, perform good. And this is my favorite part, honestly, is chopping this shit up. <laughs> chop city bitch, chop, chop city bitch, chop city bitch, chop, chop city bitch. So I'll take these bad boys. Come here, come. Oh, oh, prematurely. Sit, shake. Great job. Spin around. Spin around. Great job, Babooz. Good job. All right, so we're gonna chop some of these up. Um. Okay, that's gonna. It's kind of a lot of carrots, but lots of veggies in this meatloaf. All right, so we're gonna saute these up. The peppers smell amazing. Okay. I think that's pretty much good. I'm gonna put that in here. And then we're gonna mix this whole thing up. And I'm glad I got two pans because it's kind of a lot. Okay, so we let this cool a little bit. We're going to grease these bad boys up. And then we're gonna make our glaze, which is honey and ketchup. Shake it up. Whisk it up. So this is gonna be our glaze on top of the meatloaf. Okay, so this is the fun part. Cause you get a little messy. We're just gonna go all in. Mix it up. Turkey loaf is about to be so good. Oops. Yeah, like right when I moved here, it was amazing. Like this kitchen is so beautiful. Um, I just knew I had to cook for you guys and make you guys some meals. So yeah, I'm glad I got to show you the kitchen. Really mix it up. I am so glad I got two pans because there is so much. Ooh, we're just waiting for a little. Oh, side boost. Okay, I feel like that's fairly mixed. Okay, now we're gonna separate this into two. We're just create like little meatballs. We're gonna try to make it look as pretty as possible. It's fairly good to me. Have to make a little more. Beautiful. One done. Look at all this. Okay, so the glaze is on. We are going to throw 
these bad boys in for a hour, one hour. We will see you in one hour. One hour. Okay, so while our meatloaf or our turkey loaf is cooking, I am going to make some mashed potatoes. It would've been way faster if I had the pre-made Bob Evans slapping potatoes, but we're going to attempt our own red skins potatoes, mashed potatoes. So I've made mashed potatoes from scratch once and I don't feel like looking up a recipe, so I am going to wing it and it's gonna be like a little chef experiment, but cut all the, the ickies off. I'm going to put a little olive oil in our pan, put like medium heat, cut these boys into like halves and another halves. Two halves. I'm just gonna cut all the uglies off. Right, that's crazy. Purple, so we're gonna see how these taste. I love the purple ones. These are kind of crazy looking. Boo Boo, are you being a good boy? Yes, you are being a good boy. You are being a good boy. I don't have carrots for you, but um, I know it sounds like I'm cutting up carrots. He loves carrots. Weird, because some dogs are like weirded out. I don't think they just have grapes, but let's give them a little piece of it. Boo Boo! Oh, okay. All right, so that's finished. We're going to put the potatoes in our pan, like a stock. Um, milk, we've got almond milk, so that should be interesting. I'm just eyeballing this at this point. Um, we're gonna put some butter in there, probably the whole stick, it's a half a stick. Some pepper. I got my fuzzy socks on. So we're gonna let this sit. While we do that, we're gonna rinse our corn. No! It's cream style sweet corn. No. I messed up. You're supposed to get the regular corn. Damn, that sucks. And okay, we're gonna snack while we wait with some stacks. Damn, I got cream corn. So I fucked up, got the cream style. Okay, so we cleaned up a little bit. Let's clean up our kitchen. This is how the potatoes are looking right now. Okay, so yeah, we also have 35 more minutes on our turkey loaf and we were gonna make our mashed potatoes and fix our corn up, but messed up on the corn. I don't know what I wanna do with that quite yet. Um, I usually love putting like actual corn in my mashed potatoes and mixing it up, it's so good. It's like a crunchy mashed potato. But um, of course we don't have a masher. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we're struggling right now. I'm gonna attempt to mash these with a fork. Um, so I guess the universe just doesn't want us to have mashed potatoes. This is not going to be easy. They aren't even really that soft yet. So, look at Bangsy Bangsy Wings, you can do feel. You've been so patient all day. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go to the park and play with other dogs, and play fetch. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym and get my exercise in. But um, yeah, so these potatoes are oh I mashed one. Nope. Let's go, they're mashing. Okay, so I'm gonna mash these. It's gonna take forever. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and mash these for a while. 
and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the potatoes were um, an experiment. Wanted to give you a little update. They are mashing. It looks kind of crazy because I used the purple potatoes. So imagine mashed potatoes, normal colored, I guess. But, um, there they are, they, they're working, so. They're interesting, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna be done with that. All right, it's finished. Ooh, ooh, steams, all the steams. Look at those beauties. All right, I'm gonna pull them out. You guys, look at these, they're so beautiful. I mean, the mashed potatoes are struggling, but these, I'm gonna let these cool off and I'm gonna plate it up. Okay, it is looking delicious. You can come closer, boo boos. Come here. Um. The mashed potatoes suck. No, I'm sorry. Not good at all. The turkey loaf is good. It's just a little dry. So I put more ketchup on it. Um, I just want to say thanks and I will see you next time. But thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed me making this turkey loaf for you. So we've got some more recipes coming up. So subscribe, whatever, like, comment. Let me know what you like and I can hopefully make some videos for you guys. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. It's a beautiful day. Oh, come here, boo-boos. My baby. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <Mwah. laughs>